Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create this textured style gradient as well as a sphere that goes with it. And this is a really popular trend right now in graphic design communities, so it's essential for you to know. Make sure to subscribe, help me reach 10k, and check out the Patreon because I've got lots of different stuff in there for you to look at. And yeah, let's get into it. So we want to create a new canvas. Um, I'm going to choose a square canvas, 2000 by 2000 pixels. It doesn't have to be the same, but I usually choose square canvases. Now, the first tool we're going to use is the brush tool, which is here on the left. So select that and up here on the top left, where the circle is, you want to press it. You want to make sure that the hardness is set all the way down to 0%. So the size is going to be relevant to the size of your canvas. So make sure that the circle occupies something like this on your canvas. Another thing to make sure is that we select the color black. So make sure it's that. Finally, in this icon that has a square and a plus, we're going to create a new layer. In this new layer, we're going to make some new strokes that are going to go across the canvas like this. Some squiggly lines. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be completely the same to mine. Just make sure that you have a good contrast of white and black. Up here in filter, you're going to press that. And then you're going to go to liquify, which is going to open this window. Make sure you've selected the icon that has a finger. And I'm just going to distort the image. And I'm going to go to this diagonal side. I'm not going to go across. I'm just going to go the same way. And I'm just going to go pushing up and then pushing down as well. And maybe a bit of um, a wave to it. I mean, I think this looks kind of okay. I'm not too happy with it, but it can do the job. Now, the next step, very simple. I'm going to go down here to the bottom right. And let's select the gradient map. So now click on the gradient. And you will have these options. So you've got the black square and the white square. So now choose a color that you think is going to be the main color in your gradient. So if I want to go for a bluish, purplish, I'm going to choose a dark blue color on the far left and then the lightest color on the right. So if I select here some blue and then I select some purple like this and then on the far right I'm going to choose a pale yellow like this or you can add some contrast with some orange see you can try absolutely anything just make sure the lighter colors are on the right and the dark ones are on the left and add some contrast you know just don't use just blue don't use just green don't use just red use colors that compensate each other quite well like purple and orange do a good job together and once you think it looks all right just press ok now we're going to add some some grain to this to this gradient because as you can see there's not much texture to it so select the layer that has the, the squiggly lines then you want to go to filter and filter gallery filter gallery you've got all of these folders open and just select the one that says grain if you can zoom in, you can change the intensity as you like. I'll go for a bit more and a bit more contrast like that. And if I zoom in, you can see that there's a lot more texture to it. If you want to add a bit more as well, you can just go to filter, add noise, and just add as much as you think it will look good. That looks pretty decent to me. And yeah, that's basically the gradient. Okay, so what you can do from this point on is add it to any type of poster that you want. What I can do, for example, is create it into a sphere. I really like this look. So to do so, what we're going to do now is open a new layer. On the left of the screen, you've got all of these tools. Right click on the icon and then select the tool that you want. You can choose any of these, but I'll just select the ellipse tool. Now I'm just going to press once in the middle of the screen and it will open this and just press OK and it created this little circle. Now if you press Control or Command on your keyboard you can 
make it bigger without changing the dimensions. Create a fill, doesn't matter what color it is, and get rid of the stroke. I'll place it beneath the squiggly lines. Press on this lock where the background layer is. Place it above the circle and select these three layers. You can press shift on your keyboard and you can select all of those three. And now go to merge layers and it will create this one. You can make a copy pressing command J or control J just in case you want to add it to the background. The layer that is on top of the circle, you want to right click and go to create clipping mask and it will affect just that layer. I can make it a bit smaller so it completely fills in the circle. And what we want to do now is the same thing as we did before. Select both layers, right click and merge them together. Now you've just got a circle. I'm going to add some background so I'm just going to select the solid color and go for a bit of darker, darker white. Place it beneath. And now, if you want to make this into sphere, just select the circle, go to filter, distort, and then spherize. Press OK, and do that same process a couple times more. Spherize, and one more, spherize. Now, it doesn't really look that much like a sphere, so we can add some shadows to it. So to do so, Press on the layer and create a new one. Go to the brush and select the black color with quite quite a big brush. And on the bottom left, we're just going to give it a quick stroke like that. And on the layer where you've made the shadow, right click and create clipping mask. You can do that a few more times to give it a bit more depth. If you want to add some more shadow, go beneath the layer, um, the layer where the circle is, create a new layer, just click a few times in the middle, control T, and we're just going to press the shift and just distort the shadow that we've just created to place it underneath the circle. And now we can see that it's 3D. You can use this in any design that you like and that's pretty much it. Hope you liked this tutorial. Make sure to subscribe. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys very soon. Goodbye.